Central Illinois is the CI in CI Living. CI Living's Get Out of Town is sponsored by Best Western Plus Greenville Village Hotel and Suites Convention Center and Amazing Arcola. It is prime time to enjoy those fall colors and whether it be in your backyard or around the state, here to get us out of town is Midwest travel expert, Marsha Frost. Hey, Marsha, how are you? I'm doing pretty well and I'm happy that I got out of town a little. <laughs> well, yeah, so let's tell everybody where you were headed and what fun things await us. Yeah, I went up to Chicagoland. Um, they're kind of at the peak right now of the fall foliage, so I thought it might be kind of Nice to check out, and I had never been to Morton Arboretum, and that is a great place to start. There's plenty of outdoor spaces, and the colors are just booming there. It's just beautiful, and they are limiting passes and have timed entry, so there are never too many people there. And you can go on, there are plenty of trails. You can go around the lake, you can go through the woods, all different abilities. There are trails that you can take wheelchairs and trails that you can take your strollers. And there's also a scarecrow trail, which is pretty neat. Local um, Boy Scout, Girl Scout troops and schools put together scarecrows and you can vote for them online. And there's also some trolls there you can take. And if you don't want to get out of your car, there is a driving trail there too. So it's a it's a great place to start with the fall foliage. Yeah, it sounds fun to be on the hunt for something other than just beautiful leaves looking for the scarecrows or the trolls like yeah. you mentioned. That's something fun. Um, but something also I know you find fun is maybe happy hour. <laughs> Yes, Linford Winery. I love Linford Winery. Um, it, it looks like a little European estate in the middle of Roselle, Illinois, up in Chicagoland. And they have really done a great job with the social distancing, spreading out, and building patios. And they have this great tasting menus, which they're very careful. They're great. They have a huge selection of wine. Um, the grapes are not grown in Illinois, but the wine is made here, and they have some excellent wines. And uh, while I was there and, and tasted some really good ones in, in New Syrah and Chenin Blanc, I also picked up a bottle of their cranberry wine, which I love for Thanksgiving. Yeah, and, and it looks like... for the Thanksgiving table. And you had a delicious lunch, too, I'm sure. I did. I did. I went to two different restaurants, which were completely different. Um, the lunch was at the table at Crate, Crate and Barrel, and you can enter from the inside or outside. We were on the patio. That is the um, dumplings, crispy edamame dumplings and a tomato tartare. Very fresh, local ingredients, a lot of healthy stuff, salads, um, done really right they even do the cocktails with fresh local ingredients um we had lattes because it's a little cool outside but um really really good food and um even you know they do have some good desserts too again with lots of fruits and herbs and delicious stuff that you really really would enjoy and then you and also then the dinner Perry Steakhouse. Yeah, dinner, Perry Steakhouse. I know, that is that is pretty much the opposite. It's steak and, steak and cheese, <laughs> excellent meat. That is their pork chop, which shocked me. It's wow. Huge. huge. We did, they, they have an autumn tasting menu, which is $45, includes three courses, which is like half of what you normally pay, but you're getting the same food and the same portions. Um, that's their iceberg salad, which has their great house dressing. Um, the pork top and the salad, the filet was wonderful. We, um, you also have a choice of dessert or a side. We got one of each so we could share. And the scalloped potatoes were just fantastic. And then the, a little trio of desserts so we could enjoy a little bit of everything. Well, and it looks like everything there just screamed fall comfort food. Yes, yes, definitely. Definitely, and um, they're very spread out inside. And they also have a patio if you want to sit outside. And they are opening a second location. This one was at the Oak Brook Mall, and they're opening a second one in Schaumburg, which isn't far from there it, this month. Fun. Okay, we're, we're quickly running out of time, but I want to mention okay, you where to you stay. stayed. The Nesta ES, which stands for Extended Stay Suites. I had stayed in one in Ohio. I was very comfortable there. They're like apartments. So you have the motel entrance straight from the parking lot, um, but inside you have a suite. They have two-bedroom suites. They have studio suites. 
Um, rooms are all cleaned and sealed before you go inside, so you don't feel like you, you don't have to walk through any lobbies, you don't have to walk, go through elevators. It's like having your own little apartment that's been cleaned and disinfected for you. So um, this one's in Lombard that I stayed, which is right near Oak Park and right near the Arboretum, just 10 minutes away. So well, it was really great. And well, you can bring the family, the kids, and have a great little getaway. Well, yeah, it sounds like a great time to start planning that little fall break getaway and not have to worry too much about um, safety, as the, yep. it sounds like everyone's making the, the right precautions there for their visitors. They are, they are. Yeah, well, we appreciate you being with us today. and We'll be happy to connect everyone to your blog and website for all of your travel tips, which we will share after today's show at CILiving.tv. Marcia, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Heather. Bye. Bye-bye.